Well, hey, YouTube, welcome back once again to Photoshop Elements TV. I'm your host, Jack. And today we're going to give it, as I'm sure the title and the thumbnail always gives it away, is we're going to teach you how you can use those amazing photos you're taking with your iPhone and be able to easily edit those in Photoshop Elements on a Windows computer. So the first thing we're going to have to do here is very simply go to the Microsoft Store. And we're going to go in here to the Microsoft Store. We are then going to type in iCloud. Now iCloud is a free application from Apple that will allow you to pull all of your iTunes or iCloud storage onto a Windows computer. The best of it all is it's absolutely free. You can see I have it installed here, but if you do not, there will be an install button. You click on the install button it'll come up and install the application for you. Once you get the iCloud application installed, close the store window. We don't need that anymore. The next thing we're gonna do is click on your start button and you'll go to iCloud. Once you're into iCloud, you'll click on the apply button and at that point, it'll come up and ask you for your iCloud account information, your username and password. And I know many of you are gonna say, Jack, I don't know my password for my iCloud account. I never used it. That's okay. If you go to iCloud.com, you can easily go in there and reset your password, and then you'll be just fine, and you'll be able to log into this software. Once you log into the software, it's going to create some folders under your file manager. Here's your file manager. We're going to open that up. You're going to see an iCloud drive. Okay, which everybody gets free. I think it's 50 megabytes of iCloud Drive. I pay for the additional. I think it's I get 200 megabytes for nine, nine, 99 cents a month or something. I would recommend you do that. Then you don't always have to worry about that. Your iCloud Drive is full. It gives you more room to breathe. All right. With that said, you also come up with an iCloud Photos. When you click on that, as you can see, all my photos that I've taken with my camera on my iPhone are uploaded to iCloud automatically. And now I can go in here and I can edit these photos. The second thing to note for you is when you do this, so many people say, well, Jack, I have a laptop. That's going to fill my hard drive up. It is not doing that. If you can see the little clouds on here, that means these photos are not stored in your computer. These are just pointers to the cloud where those are stored on Apple's servers or Apple's hard drives. When we want to use one of these photos, it will then be downloaded onto our computer so we can edit it. So let's just say we want to take one of these photos here. I don't know which one. I'll just take, um, uh, let's take a picture of my wife here playing uh, what's called bocce ball. And we'll right click on it. And if you go up to open with, you'll see it'll say Adobe Photoshop Elements. Okay, whichever version you have, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be 2022. It could be 2018, whatever version. You click on that. All right. It looks like it's still syncing. There it goes. It downloaded it for us. And it opens the image. This way you can go in here now, we can do all of our fantastic editing. Like if we want to get rid of the guy over here, you say, hey, okay, let's just uh, use our clone stamp tool. Uh, let's just, you know, this is not so much of an editing or maybe we just want to get rid of this person in the back here. Oops, hey, you get the idea. Um, maybe we want to get rid of one of the balls here by our foot. Just like so. Anyway, so you can do some editing here on your photos, and that's the main part of this topic. And I know you said, well, Jack, I've been emailing to myself, but that's a lot of steps. You have to email it from your phone, open it on your computer, download it out of your email, put it into a folder. This way, everything is available for you all the time. Not only your photos, also your videos that you take on your phone so you can edit your videos very easily now on your Windows computer. So folks, I want to say thank you very much to everybody out there that's subscribed, uh, that's all the new subscribers and the uh, subscribers that's been with me since day one. I truly appreciate your efforts uh, of watching the videos and I hope they're helping you. 
If you're not subscribed to this channel, I ask that you please click that subscribe button. Help to build the content, help to motivate this new channel and get it out there so more people can find it and more people can uh, see the uh, Photoshop elements editing that I'm helping you uh, learn. If you have any ideas or you're stuck on something Photoshop elements, you're like, Jack, I just don't know what to do. Put that in the comments below and I will definitely try to work a video out for you, uh, a tutorial video to help you get through that issue you're having. So until next time, as always, remember, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here next time on Photoshop Elements TV. Take care.